So at this point, basically, all of our addressing is complete, with the exception of you will need to go through and finish putting in the inputs and outputs. I've got you started. This is what it should look like. And you're going to want to keep this document on hand as you begin to program because it will become very handy. As you can see here, all the inputs are labeled, all of the outputs are labeled. We've got our internal bits already labeled. We have our work bits already labeled. And we even have our steps defined. So later on, we're not going to have to remember any of these actual addresses in our PLC program since we've used the symbol. We're basically just going to start typing what we want that instruction to be. And last but not least, we actually even put some timers in here. So you'll continue on putting more control in here. And once you get that completed, we'll download it into the PLC. So at this point, we're going to go up here to our Office button, and we're going to hit File, and we're going to hit Save As. And here is the key to using this type of file system. When you're importing it into another software, we're using what's called CSV, Comma Separated Values. So it uses a comma to separate the information. So we're going to come down here until we find the option that says CSV, which is right here, Comma Delimited. Once you do that, you can go ahead and click on that option. And now you're going to want to name this file probably the same name that you're going to name the PLC program. So I'm going to go ahead and call mine Base Station. Okay, and I know that this is my tag file because it's a .csv file. I'm going to go ahead and load this into a place where I know it's going to be, so I'm going to put it into my documents and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now it's telling me that there are some things that are not compatible with the CSV format and that's perfectly okay. We want to keep this workbook in the CSV format. So we're going to go ahead and click on yes. And now we can see at the top it now says base station dot CSV. So now we can go ahead and close this file and hit do we want to save the changes? Now we can select no because we've already saved them. At this point, we're going to upload this into the PLC and we're almost ready to start programming. You're going to see that this took a long time to produce, but will save us a tremendous amount of time as we begin to program. 